Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Corpse Party. In the last episode, we may have had a bunch of sudden revelations. We reached the burial site of Sachiko Shinazaki's body. We ran into, um, Naho's teacher's cameraman. And also, we found out that Seiko's death is not what it seemed. Let's continue. We've been paralyzed! I can't move! Oh god, is everybody alright? My ears! My ears! Big brother! Save me! Wow, what the fuck? Yuka! Yuka! God, I can't even turn my body to look at her! Are we all frozen like this? Oh, what are you going to do to me? Ow! Stop! Please! Yuka, what's happening? Stop doing that! Sachiko, you bitch! Leave her alone! Pochita, get on with it, quickly! Get on with what? Appeasing her? Just hurry! Okay. Nail me, please. Don't do this. Two girls. One's on a bucket with her hands tied behind her back and a rope around her neck. No, no, please. Nail me. Wake up! Nail me! Nail me! She just kicked the bucket away. My god, this is a murder! What the hell did I just see? Oh, shit. Sachiko, this is yours. It's part of your body that was taken from you. Open your eyes, please. Offer Sachiko's tongue? Yes. Offer Naho's notebook? No. Mommy, you promised. Your mom's been suffering just as much as you have. The things that you're doing aren't making her happy at all. Offer black cat plushie? Yes. Offer mini DVD sin tape? No. Who? Where's my mommy? Where am I? I can move again. Does that mean it's working? Oh, that's not good. Naomi! Come on, everyone, take out your paper doll scraps! Okay. Got it! Alright. Okay. Sachiko, hear her, please! We want to go home. That's what charms really are. They represent our regards for other people. They're like microcosms of the soul, right? You and your mom have both suffered such horrible fates, but all we want to do is free you from that suffering. Uh... Um... A uh, chant. Sachiko, we beg of you. S Satoshi. Chant. Sachiko, we beg of you! Yuka. Chant. Sachiko, we beg of you. Yoshiki. Chant. Sachiko, we beg of you. Ayumi. 
chant. Sachiko, we beg of you. Naomi, chant one more time for Sachiko. Sachiko, we beg of you. You guys, Yuka, Naomi, is everyone all right? It's okay. Nothing serious. I'll use my ribbon to help stop the bleeding. Hopefully that should be enough. Ayumi, thank you. Yuka? We did it. Satoshi. Naomi, I'm so glad you're okay. What happened with Shinohara? I'll tell you later. Oh, uh, okay. Yuki! Now is your only chance to escape. The veil between your world and this school is at its thinnest. The gate is open. You need to hurry and get outside the building before it closes. Complete the ritual. Alrighty. Once it closes, this nexus will return to the way it was, and you'll have lost your chance to get out. What? So what's going to happen to all of you, then? It appears we've become part of these spaces. Aside from Sachiko, none of us can be saved. Right now, I'm free, but it's not going to last. Soon I'll continue shaping this place, just as I always have. No! This school has already begun creating a new Sachiko. Please, go. Get out of the building while you still can. Ugh! Eek! Come on, let's get out of here! Uh, actually, gotta save, gotta save, gotta save, gotta save, gotta save. Alright, now we run. I don't know where we're supposed to go, though. Somewhere in the distance a bell tolls. It sounds like the hour tone of the grandfather clock. Oh, great. That's not good. I guess we just go back the way we came, I, I guess. Well, that's great. The bell tolls again! Good. Uh, uh, fuck. Fuck. Is this student ID? I don't know why I bothered picking that up. Go up the- I can't- okay, there we go. Run, 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 No, wrong way, fuck. Fuck. Third. If what I've been told is correct, if, we, if it reaches seven, we fail. Which, you know, that's not good. Wait, no, that's the wrong way. Shit! Oh, why am I so bad at video games? Fourth, why? Shit, come on. Wait, ah, I took, I took the exact opposite way because I am a fucking idiot. Okay, cool, we're probably gonna fail. Uh, uh, shit, come on! Fifth. Oh god, why? Uh, come on, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm panicking a lot more than I should over a video game. I- great, there's no way out. Cool, 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 okay, I'm- I'm gonna fuck up, aren't I? Oh dear, that's- that's- this isn't good, this isn't good, this isn't good, this is not good at all. We fucked up, we fucked up, we fucked up really hard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart. So, yeah. Everything's going dark. Do we miss our chance? No. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and restart now. I guess. Yep. Welcome to Heavenly Host Elementary School. So Yuki is the new Sachiko. Great. Wrong end! Because I fucked up really hard. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing, I will be right back. You know, I don't think it's possible for me to hate a software as much as I hate Camtasia. It didn't record the chase scene. Well, at least it stopped working somewhere through the chase scene. So that's great. So, uh, I'm probably gonna have to dump Camtasia and find a new recording software. You didn't miss much, just me, like, screwing up several times until finally, like, I got, I got it through my thick skull that I had to go all the way to the second wing, and basically there wasn't even a climatic ritual or, or anything, we just climbed over, we just climbed over a fence. I'm... I've tried and failed at the whole escape thing like seven times now, and I am, as much as I do love you guys, I'm not willing to put myself through that again. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Ugh. Whoa, are we? We are. We're home. Big Brother! Yuka! We really made it. Yuki, thank you so much. And so... The five of us who survived the ordeal were able to return to Kisaragi Academy, to the real world on our own time. For a while, we were all just happy to be home, and to be alive. We were overjoyed. But it didn't take long before the grim reality of what, what, what happened wiped the smiles off our faces. Miss Yui, Shinohara, Morishige and Suzumoto. They weren't with us anymore. Well, be careful on your way home, okay? I will. Goodbye. Later. Wait, before you all go... Hmm? Don't stay home tomorrow. Come to school. Please. Okay. I didn't think I'd be able to sleep that night after all the things I'd seen. But I wound up sleeping like a rock. The next morning, it was with heavy hearts that we all trudged towards school devoid of Miss Yui and the others, yet fate had still had one more sick twist in store for us. Shinohara? Morishige? Am I supposed to know who you're talking about? Oh no. Our homeroom TA's name is, Matsu is Matsudo. Do you still have a sleep or something? 
A transfer student? Are we getting someone new? <sighs> it was like... The four people who died in that school had never existed to begin with. No, this isn't right! How can no one else remember any of them? All those times we spent with Seiko and the others, am I supposed to just accept that none of it, none of that really happened? Miss Yui, Suzumoto, Morishige, and Shinohara. Are you telling me they only exist in our memories now? That's just beyond cruel. Still absorbing innumerable souls and ingesting the thoughts of innocent boys and girls. Heavenly Host Elementary School stands firm, with a newly appointed Sachiko at its core. There are those precious few who survived, those who lost their lives, and those who were overcome by the darkness by the dark curses therein. And among them are all the spirits of those who were wronged, bearing an unimaginable pain and endlessly searching for respite from their sadness. For a place to call home. Chapter 5. End. Wow. That is kind of, well, a downer <laughs> ending. Wait. Is it not over? It's not. Sorry to call you in like this, Satoshi. Oh, it's not a problem at all. What's up? There's something I want you to see. Here. Huh? Isn't that... It is that unsent from that unsent text me text at text message from Shinohara I showed you. Yeah. I need to tell you something. So it was you? Seiko couldn't move, but instead of saving her, I put a noose around her neck. You don't remember any of it? When I saw that scene play out, my mind just shut down. I couldn't think at all, and a black mist began forming around me while I was slipping away. I didn't care either. Nothing mattered to me anymore. I would have welcomed death. Seiko! Seiko! I... I... God, no! Seiko, I wish I could take it back! darkness had begun seeping into every pore. My body was pitch black. I was right on the verge of losing consciousness. And then... <clears throat> this is that text message. Why am I receiving it now? Doesn't matter. I don't even want to live anymore. Living is too painful. I'm sure Seiko must have died hating me. There's just nothing left to live for. <clears throat> it's the same message. Seiko, are you trying to tell me something? Mm. 
She must be spamming me. She's probably furious. No, there's no way she's not mad at me. We had such a huge fight. She can't possibly forgive me. Especially not after what I did to her. Seiko, there's no excuse for my actions. You... You must hate me, right? You have some kind of grudge. Seiko. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you, Seiko. I love you. Hey, Seiko. She... She really existed, didn't she? She really did spend all that time with us, right? She did. She was real, Naomi. Miss Yui and the others, too. I can't stand the thought that I'll never see them again. Just one last time. I want to talk with Seiko one last time. I know you do. Corpse party. Finished. Holy shit! That was a trip. I mean, I didn't get nearly as spooked as I thought I would. But I mean, I did get spooked, don't get me wrong on that. But holy moly! <laughs> like... That whole thing between I between I you between uh, Naomi and Seiko at the end was just heartbreaking. The whole story in itself is actually really interesting, and I'm really sorry that for some reason the footage got cut there. But to be honest, you just missed me dying a lot and screaming, and I don't think anybody wants to see that or hear that because it clipped my mic horribly, probably. So yeah, um. You got, like I said at the beginning of the Let's Play, you guys requested this video f and these videos for me for a very long time, back when I did a lot of RPG Maker Horror stuff. And, to be honest, I had shown some interest in it, but it's just like, a lot of Let's Players, and basically, you know how the more you bug somebody to do something, the less they want to do it? It's just like, so many people were asking me, like, Mihari, play a corpse party! I'm just like, I don't want to, I don't want to take a break from horror. But, I can safely say that I'm glad that I revisited the, the horror genre for Halloween. Speaking of which, uh, just a few Halloween tips for my, and for all of my lovely subscribers. Uh, don't go knocking on doors that don't, that don't have lights turned on, don't accept anybody's invita invitations to go inside, don't eat candy that's partially open, uh, don't be a dick to kids. Cause like, you can trick or treat at any age that you want, but like, don't be a dick to kids. Like, if you see them wearing a costume that they don't like, that you don't like, like if they're just with like a minion from Despicable Me or something, don't like rag on them for it. Wow, we just finished this, like, emotional ass story, and here I am telling you what to do for Halloween. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, you know. Also, trick or treat with friends. Bring flashlights. Fun times. So, yeah. That was Corpse Party. And that was an experience, to be honest. Maybe I'll revisit another one of these games for Halloween next year. I mean, there's a bunch of spin-offs. Hell, Ironically enough, 
one of them came out the day, and uh, one of them, uh, actually came out the day after I started my Corpse Party Let's Play. <laughs> Corpse Party Blood Drive. Which, that's pretty fascinating, and kind of ironic. I mean, who knows? I have, I've still gotten a lot of suggestions that I'd like to try for next year on Halloween. But, I guess we'll just see what time, well, what, what time will tell. So, I'd say, also, um... If you guys want me to do the extra chapters, let me know. I may not have unlocked all of them, though, just saying, because I think they're unlocked based on name tags. So, yeah. With that, let's save our system data. And we are done with Corpse Party. And basically, just my, res my regular upload schedule will resume on Monday with either Mermaid Swamp or a special LP that I have planned for after it. I don't know, because I record all of this at the same time. Let's let's, let's just go to the options menu, so that way we don't, we don't get stuck with the ending again. Alright, so, yeah, basically, uh, I'm recording this, like, at the very beginning of October, so I don't know, uh, if I'll have Mermaid Swamp finished by then, or if I have the Let's Play that I have planned after it in progress. But until then, this is Mihari of Mabanogi, this was Corpse Party, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, and have a happy Halloween.